No, I think more so that they were mixing it up defensively, so um, you couldn't really tell if they were in a 2-3, a 3-2, or a man. Um, and mostly in man, um, they were just packing it in. So to our team, it looked like a zone, you know. So we just needed to settle down. Um, most of our points come in transition, but we had to just get them in a different mindset. Anytime there was a strong side drive that the defense, like, really um, sunk in. And so I needed the guards to move up and be able to be in a place where they could just catch and shoot. Um, and I, I, I don't mind everybody. Shoot. I mean, I want Nida to take more threes. She just is, she's a beast on the boards, and that's what she wants to do, you know. So, um, and, and Z is becoming a three-point shooter a little bit, but, you know, because she gets in the gym and works so much. I mean, Z works on her game all the time, and she's in the gym shooting, 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 shooting. Um, and that's why those shots are going in for her right now. Yeah, I mean, it's a, she's a great example of somebody that works really, really hard and develops year after year after year. I mean, her first year playing for us, she didn't, she didn't even barely play at Albany. Look at her now, you know. And that's a, and we talk to our team about that all the time. I mean, it's she's put in the work, and then um, great players and people who could play like Z really put in work and Z's playing like a senior. Z's playing every single game like it's her last game and she wants to do well and she wants to, be, believe it or not, win for us too, you know, and so, you know, it's really fun to watch her because she's become a scorer and, she, you know, she's getting after loose balls and any time that we missed a shot she was on that loose ball and she was getting hustle plays and she was getting rebounds and, you know, now she's become a scorer, and that's not what she was for us when we were at Albany. She was a passer, too, and we had a great post player. So now her game is, you know, complete. I mean, she had five steals tonight also. She 23 points, five steals, three assists, six rebounds. I mean, that's that's those are great stats for her. Because halftime, we got to talk about, um, you know, our guards moving up and getting into spaces where they could catch and shoot. I mean, that's what I talked about at the first moment. They were just strong side digging, and it's funny to see a team do this because that's exactly what they did at USF, and it worked really well. Um, and so um, we got to be able to make adjustments. Is that it's at halftime? I really wish that halftime wasn't so long because, and the teams kind of lose their you know, fire, and then they come back out, and then they got to get it back going because, to be honest, that's what it looked like. They, they cut, cut it to three within the first two minutes of the third quarter, and so we had to really, you know, get, get up in our press and keep pressuring them and, um, and just really disrupt them so they couldn't run their sets. Yeah, but that's, that's a lot of points. We held her down when we were at her place, but she's, to me, she's a great player. She's a great kid. Um, she plays really hard for him. She's a senior too, so I, it's hard because I know that she really wants to do well for her team this year. This is her last year. Um, but, you know, I thought coming into the game we were really prepared, and Megan had told me this is the first time ever um, that we've swept SMU uh, in a season. So I talked about that a lot, and I talked about not having any let-ups, and I talked about we have this long break now, and let's make it a great long break. And I talked about home court advantage. There's just a lot of little miracle things that we talk about to get our team ready to go and um, obviously we knew we were undersized. I mean the whole game it was Nye and, and Kayla Thigpen playing in the post against them and so we did a really good job and I complimented those two especially because Nye in my opinion is a three guard and Kayla Thigpen is a two and so we are seeing we're a great team and we're great teammates because th those two are doing things they're, they're not necessarily comfortable doing, but they're doing it because they love their teammates. They love, you know, playing here and they, they want to help win games for our seniors. I think film really helps, you know. I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't lie and it shows what we need to get better at. And we show things that didn't work and then we show things that did work. And, um, and so when we watched this last game against SMU, we showed film on things that didn't work and things that do work. And so I think it's just the overall process, um, you know, in this game. I thought what the X factor was, which you probably wouldn't know, is KK. Because KK, um, every time we played SMU last year and this year, because she got foul trouble. So her goal today was to not get in foul trouble because she, look at what she did out on the floor. I mean, she did some amazing things for us and had seven assists. And uh, uh, where is she? KK's, how many assists did KK have? seven assists and she was just she did so well for us and she played 39 minutes and she got four steals and you know she was being super aggressive in transition and um, so that was big for KK because she when we played at SMU she didn't she didn't play very much because she was in foul trouble. 12 is ideal um, and I think we have enough talented guards not to you know 
lose the ball. But actually, in the first half, it was our post players getting three seconds. Um, you know, trying to dribble in the low post on those instead of just catching and shooting and not dribbling because they were doubling Moss immediately. Um, and Nyla was trying to dribble in the post and go up. And so, um, you know, I would like to always keep it to 12 or under. Yeah, how's that possible when we're undersized? Uh, I think it's harder for because I, I, I'm taller, obviously, but it's harder for me to box somebody little out. It's so much harder <laughs> to try to find a little person coming in there 100 miles an hour. Um, Nye is just smart, and hers is toughness, and hers is knowing when the shot's going up. And I think um, for our team, too, our team knows when the shot's going up. We, do, we just don't play basketball. We know when the shots are going up so purposefully so we can go get rebounds. I mean, we were the same last year, too. We know when the shots are coming. We pr pretty much know who's taking the shots because we try to be, most of the time, organized offensively. So that really helps them. But it, we told Thig, I mean, that there's some how you put box Caleb Thig been out. I mean, she's so fast and so athletic. It's really hard for bigs to box somebody like her out. No, I just want a day off. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, you know, it's it's gonna we're gonna finish up January. I don't know if you, you know we we always talk about every month, so we gotta definitely finish up January. We got two big games in January. These are two teams that we haven't played yet. Um, so we really just got to finish up January the right way. So this, this break is going to give them time to rest up a little bit, but it's also going to give us time to prepare for new teams. Uh, you know, just going through the flow of our offense and taking shots when I'm open, passing the ball when other people are open. So it's really not about me. It's about, you know, how our team executes our sets. Um, honestly, I don't think about it. If it's open, I'll shoot it. If not, then I won't. If it's there, it's not really part of my game, but if it's, something that's, you know, there, then I'll shoot it. Um, I think it was just a matter of really having a mindset to try to get my team extra possessions. And then, obviously, we were, um, Z was had the hot hand, so every time she shoot, I was just trying to go get some rebounds. But she did a really good job of knocking them down. Um, well, we know UConn and USF are really great teams, and so our mindset is just to go in and play every game, be tough and play hard and do the little things. So we just take it game by game, and we're just going to bring that focus for our next game coming up. I think that our press is, you know, part of our uh, important part of our defense. Uh, it starts to wear people out, and you know, we just use it to turn people over. And our defensively on the half court, we just look to focus on where uh, their go-to players are, such as three and try to uh, key in on them.